welcome to Phonetic Friends. I'm your new co-host, Chris Reed. Sorry about the shoot, it's an inside joke from my own channel. This week for the newly revamped Phonetic Friends, I was asked to introduce myself and, you know, bring you up to speed with my life and what I do on the internet. I decided the best way to do this would be to run through all the weeks that have already happened, so here we go. Introductions. As already mentioned, my name is Chris Reed. I like working with kids, I like travelling the world, I like reading, playing soccer, using the internet and making videos. Authors. My current favourite author is George Orwell. This is my favourite book by him, 1984. My first ever favourite author was J.R.R. Tolkien, although my favourite book by him is The Hobbit. Currently, I'm reading Betty Smith's A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. The next book I would like to read is Albert Camus's The Outsider. History. Canada, named after the word Canada, which means settlement or village, is the second largest country in the world. It was officially founded in 1867 and is the place where I live. Have an adventure. I love having adventures, but since today is a video making day, I will instead show you footage of me snowboarding and of me at summer camp. Childhood memories. One of the first anecdotes of my life was when I was about three years old, and I don't think I personally remember this, but I have definitely been told about it since, but it was Christmas time, and I was set next to the tree while my parents were making dinner. I decided that a shiny bauble looked very nice and started pulling on it, and the tree fell down. One of the first memories that I do remember is watching Disney VHSs of Winnie the Pooh. A lot. Favourite song? My favourite song of all time is probably New Slang by The Shins. If it wasn't New Slang by The Shins, it would be from one of these albums that I'm holding up now, which are, in fact, my five favourite albums of all time. Those are Transportation. Since I don't drive a car, I use public transport to get around. Fortunately, Richmond and Vancouver have very, very good public transport systems. Non-verbal communication. Fears. Although I have things that scare me, I wouldn't consider any of them fears. I'm scared of public speaking sometimes, I'm scared of heights sometimes, I'm scared of taking off on aeroplanes sometimes, and I'm scared of people around me dying eventually. That doesn't mean I'm scared to leave my house, it doesn't mean that I can't climb, it doesn't mean I don't fly. It just means that sometimes I'm a little bit shaky. Not a problem, I just carry on. I think that's what bravery is. Just continuing even though you do have some things that scare you. And I think everyone should have things that scare them. In fact, Eleanor Roosevelt put it, do one thing every day which scares you. Dr. Cox from Scrubs put it, fear is good. It keeps you from becoming a crappy doctor. Memes. Yo dog, I heard yo and yo dog like yo-yos, so we put yo dog in a yo-yo so you can yo-yo yo dog while yo dog yo-yos dog. Foreign languages. Bonjour, je m'appelle Chris. Ça c'est Chris, c'est H-R-I-S. J'ai 22 ans et j'habite à Richmond, BC, Canada. J'ai un vidéoblogueur et une étudiante. 50 things you're thankful for. Air, water, light, friends, family, electricity, accommodation, education, the internet, music, freedom, books, communication, a job, travel, Games, nostalgia, dreams, life, love, health, flight, computers, jokes, laughter, hugs, high fives, snow, rain, sun, beaches, forests, mountains, sunsets, beer, chocolate, strawberries, bake, smoothies, plumbing, sports, speech, soap, beauty, community, heroism, animals, achievements, excitement, nature. <laughs>